Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I used my Fifth Avenue floral set to create these stargazer lilies um, and also some Copic markers. I am going to start with my background. So I'm going to take this sheet of Nina cardstock and some blue, I'm um, sorry, broken china ink, inking it all around. And then I'm going to take my En Francais stamp set from Stampin' Up and I'm going to ink it up with the same broken china. Then I'm going to stamp it off to fade it out a little bit. And then I'm going to stamp it on that sheet so I get a tone on tone look. All right, next I'm going to cut um, a frame out of this die, this Spellbinders die, number seven. And um, I'm using some Eclipse masking tape to hold it in place while I run it through my Sizzix machine. What a big shot. So what I'm going to do is I want to emboss it, dry emboss it. So I got to take that middle piece out and that's the key. Um, and then you put it on tab one and then you put the rubber piece on and then an acrylic plate and then that black plate that comes with the, the set. All right, so I slowed it down here so you can see how it dry embossed it. The next thing I'm going to do is take my chocolate chip marker and I'm kind of leaning it to the side and I'm using that indentation of the dry embossing to kind of guide my marker so that it stays even across the whole thing. And then I'm going to go back in and use the brush tip and kind of slant it a little bit so I get good coverage and I'm just going to color it out to that line I drew. And I drew the line first to make it a little easier for coloring it in. Alright, next I'm going to take my um, Lily stamp and some Memento uh, Rich Cocoa ink and um, that one I sort of messed up a little bit. I actually need three of them, so I'm going to stamp it three times. And I'm going to get two different colors of Copic markers. I've got a pink and a red. Um, I slow this down just a little bit, so I'm going to create the pink area. I'm going to leave a white um, portion just on the edges. I'm going to color this whole thing, and this is all the same color. And then I'm going to take the red right on top of it, and um, I'm going to start, it's going to be very wide at the bottom, at the base of the petal, and then it's going to narrow out to a point at the end. And I'm going to make it a little bit of a kind of a jagged line there so it doesn't look so even. Now I'm going back with my pink and I'm just blending where those two colors meet. And then this is kind of different. It's a, this is a colorless blender, so it's zero and I'm just going along the edge of the pink and that's just to kind of fade, ha have it fade out a little bit because you don't want it to be this stark line. So here I am doing it again. So I've got the pink solid with the white edge and then go back in with that red and I found it easier to kind of draw the shape of the petal and then feather it out from there with the red. Now here I am going back in with the pink and then my colorless blender. Now the colorless blender actually, you can see how it's faded out quite a bit on the first one. It just takes a little bit of extra time to get that faded out. So you don't want to uh, overuse it. So just kind of make a really quick fine run across that pink. Um, and then wait a little bit and then if it still needs it, you could do a little bit more. But it's going to fade, um, like blend out even after you stop. Okay, then I'm going to take this rose red marker, Stampin' Up marker, and I'm going to use the fine tip and I'm just going to create those little dots that appear on the flower. If you use a Copic marker for this, it's just going to make the dot pretty big and blend right into the flower. Okay, so I'm going to do this for all three of them of the flowers, so I'm not going to show you all of them. Uh, once I have them finished, actually there's one thing I wanted to add. There's that crease that kind of goes down the center of the petals, and so I went back with my rose red marker and created it at the base of the flower and then kind of thinned it out as I went up the petal. I think it really made a difference in the dimension of the flower to 
to add this. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them all out. Now for my stems, I just kind of randomly cut a few stems out of some certainly celery cardstock. And then I took two of my Copic markers, one kind of a yellow green and one's a green. And, um, and I went along the side with the dark color. And I was kind of messy with it. I really wasn't precise about where I was coloring because it actually blends pretty well into colored cardstock. So you won't really see those lines. And then I took uh, the lighter color and I colored in the other half, essentially. And then um, after I did that, I went back with a darker color and I did just on the edging, just the very tip. And with uh, the colored cardstock and the Copic markers, you really have to let it sit for a minute and absorb and set. Um, and that's when all of the colors start to, to really blend in. I'm just using some foam adhesive dimensionals to put my frame on. And I made my blue piece just a tad smaller than the white, so I wouldn't have any problems with it showing through. This is the Thank You Kindly stamp set, and I keep a uh, piece of vellum with all of my stamps on it in my set so that I don't have to use that stamp -o magic sheet every time. And that way my vellum's ready to go anytime I need it. Now I'm just going to arrange my, arrange my flowers and use some dimensionals to adhere them to the card. And I'm actually going to put the dimensionals where it's going to lay on the blue and then I'm just going to use some regular adhesive, see right there, to adhere it to the white. I'm going to do that for all three of my flowers. And then I'm just arranging my stems and I'm going to actually put some adhesive on the top. I'm going to stick it under there and then I'm going to press down on the flower to adhere it to the back of the flower. This is just some linen thread. Um, I decided to actually glue those stems out and stems down to make them a little more stable. I'm using my 2A glue pen and I'm gluing them to the white frame. And now I'm going to take my linen thread, I'm just going to put it under there and I'm going to tie a bow. I'm going to use my uh, mini glue dot to hold my knot in place while I tie the bow. snip off those ends and then I've got uh, one more step I'm going to color in um, the little stamen I think it is um, and so I'm using these gel pens that I got like 500 pens at Costco or something um, so I'm not sure exactly the colors um, they're jelly roll pens and I have this light green one and then kind of a sparkly orange and now I'm going to adhere it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch folded card. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.